our dear. Good morning. Yeah, good morning, you two. I spoke with the Department of Natural Resources to learn more about the virus and what you need to know. Our first reports of this virus were in late July. Epizootic hemorrhagic disease is a virus that has been attacking pockets of deer in the state of Michigan for years. So far, 2024 seems to be a, a year where we're getting a lot of reports. It showed up uh, much earlier in the season than it typically does. The virus is transmitted to deer by a small fly called a biting midge, most commonly known as noceums or gnats. The DNR says there have been reports of several cases in six southwest Michigan counties. Allegan, Van Buren, Calhoun, up into Kent and Ottawa counties as well. Chad Fedewa is the acting deer management specialist for the DNR. He says seeing dead deer by water is a telltale sign they may have contracted EHD. These deer develop really high fevers and they go to seek out water to cool down. Usually it's only a matter of a day or two. If we Luke Schraub lives in Van Buren County. He's the operations manager of Timber Ridge Ski Hill. He says he recently found 35 dead deer on their 400 acres. If we find one that's been hanging out by the pond, that we find it either right on the shore dead or floating in the water. Schraub says the dead deer he has been finding look different than anything he's ever seen. There should have been no reason that they, you know, should have died. And also, you know, usually if they get hit by a car, a lot of times they're going to be closer to the road, not specifically in the woods by water. Fedewa says while this virus does spread, it starts and stops with deer. There's no human health concerns. There's no pet health concerns um, or livestock. What do hunters need to know about harvesting deer that may have contracted this virus? The virus does not impact the, the meat. Any summer with a wet start and a dry finish creates the perfect breeding grounds for the insects that cause EHD, Fedewa says. Summer 2024 was one of those summers. This virus, um, it just has to kind of run its course until, like I said, the uh, hard frost sets in and um, kills off the flies that transmit the disease. After our interview with Luke Schraub, he reached out and told us one of the dead deer found on his property tested positive for EHD. The DNR is asking the public if you see dead deer to report the sightings on their website.